This video is a quick sneak peek into Chapter 1 of Derek Morris's upcoming Commodore 64 retro game dev book, Volume 2. Derek reached out to me Friday and asked if I would be willing to do this video to help build an interest for the book, which I was happy to do. Derek is the author of Retro Game Dev Volume 1, a terrific book on Commodore 64 assembly language and game development, and was released on November 29th, 2017. It is currently available for purchase on Amazon.com. In Volume 2, Chapter 1, Derek starts with a discussion on the differences between the 6502 and 6510 processors. He lays out all the CPU registers, including the processor register, and explains all the flags. He defines the little Indian architecture. He properly defines what assembly language is and why it is needed, and provides a full overview of 6502 assembly language. It's the perfect chapter for the beginner. In Derek's first program sample, he manages to change the background color of the Commodore 64, doing so directly in machine language code, something that I had never thought of doing. It is then converted to assembly language to show that the assembler output gives the exact same results as the hard-coded machine code. He demonstrates how to use the CBM Program Studio to debug the program while watching its effects on the program registers and memory. A detailed explanation follows of all the various addressing modes in great detail, how to transfer data between processor registers, he covers basic arithmetic operations, bit shifting, branches and looping, as well as macros and subroutine calls. All of this and more is covered in Chapter 1. It was a really great way for me to brush up on Commodore 64 assembly language and fill in any gaps I may have had. For example, it explained all of the complicated addressing modes, but not just with some text you read in the book. He provides code samples you can follow along with using the CBM Program Studio debugger, step by step to help you understand the concepts. The entire chapter is broken down that way with written examples, followed by some program samples backed up with debugging, line by line so you can follow along with what processor registers and memory locations are being affected. Starting on page 56, he describes an addition mode called Binary Coded Decimal. This one blew me away because I had no idea such a mode was even available to dabble with. Quoting from the book, when BCD mode is enabled, the carry flag acts differently for the ADC and SBC instructions. A carry is propagated from the low nibble to the high nibble when the low nibble exceeds 9, and then from the entire byte when it exceeds 99, thus correctly handling arithmetic for screen display values. This alone, along with Derek's verbose explanations, make this book worth the purchase. I never really understood the purpose of the processor registers and how they work with the machine code instructions. I now have a greater understanding and can refer to this chapter when I need to see which flags are set for which instruction. I was able to glean all that information from just the first chapter alone. Amazing! Derek did not give me an estimated completion date for the book. Just know that he is working on the project and it will not be released until he is 100% complete and satisfied with its content. Now, while preparing this video, I got the impression from Derek that he's been struggling to complete the project, and I thought it might be helpful to him to reach out with a few positive words. If you would like to do that, please contact him here, www.retrogamedev.com forward slash about. Thanks for watching.